Hello friends, now in this video I'm going to work with trailers here to display all the trailers and also when we click we need to open the model and display the trailer and for that I'm going to use the headless UI and uh, here we have uh, dialog model okay and we're going to use with view So, first we need to install the headless UI, so npm paste that in Okay, now run the npm run watch and here is how we can use the Dialog model. Okay, the preview, the code. Okay, now in the show, where is the, when we have to display the trial, yeah, here, here we have the trailer, but first I'm going to add the trailer in this movie, so Resident Evil, so go to the login and login as admin, close. Go to the movies and in here we need to attach trailer and open the moviedb.org go to the some random movie and just copy the trailer here copy embed code close this one paste that in and say YouTube. Okay, now I move it. Trailer attached here, and also I want to add some tags. So free movie, and this one. Okay, because I want to display the tags. Now if I go here, go to the Resident Evil. Where is here? And yeah, we have tags down there now next thing is to display the trailer and in here I'm going to add add the span And see, say before, but we don't have trailers, I think. Okay, we don't have trailers here. Also, we need the trailers. And say an array, good. Go to the movie controller and here add trailers as well. So dollar sign movie trailers. Okay. Now where we add this to display the trailers in here. We say movie before a uh, trailer in trailers. Add the key trailer ID and here display the trailer name trailer dot uh, web name I think our name what we have so come here and refresh and yeah now we have the name but this is going to be like a button 
like so. Uh, maybe button here. And we need to add some classes. So say class px4 py2 bg uh, indigo 600 text is going to be white text white okay around it and click save wait the refresh and yeah we have something like this now now when i click i want to display the uh and uh, Yeah, here I'm going to copy this as well. So, and paste it here. Okay, next we need to add the on click event. And on click open model. Okay, and after that, we need to copy this one here. And I'm going to add before the template. Next one, we need to import this thing from the Headless UI, headless UI dot view slash view. Okay, and we need to say const is open. We need to also to import the ref from view. Okay, so. Copy this and paste it. So const is open to true and close an open model. So create the function, close model, and it's going to say this one. And also function open model. Save this. Come here and refresh. And if I click, we open, we close. We open, we close. Okay. So change this to be false by default because we need to, when we click to change that. So, yeah. If I click now, we display the. If I click outside, okay, got it. Now we need to add the where is the open model? Open model. In here, we need to add the trailer.
trailer here and when we have the open model we expect the trailer here we say is open the true and also I'm going to say here const a model trailer I'm going to say model trailer is going to be ref and an empty object and now I'm going to say uh, modal trailer is going to be this trailer here and where is the we have the dialogue title and after that we have this one here I'm going to add a div and here I'm going to say the HTML and add the modal trailer dot Uh, embed HTML embed HTML okay close us and here I'm going to say v if we have the model trailer model trailer I'm going to see now what we have Model trailer like this. Okay, save. Why we have thing? Yeah. Now if I refresh, if I click here, and I think we have error. console click this yeah model trailer is read only ah yeah we need to say down there model trailer dot value okay save and refresh And yeah, we display something like this, but uh, now we need to fix the width and the height. And for that, I'm going to use the Tilewind CSS aspect ratio okay we need to install this plugin is from a tiling css so copy this command here go to the vs go to the terminal and paste that in enter okay run npm run watch and we need also to run this add this to the plugins in the Tailwind config.js so open 
the tile in config.js and in the plugins we need to add also this one okay save close and in the show when we add the trailer tri this model here okay where is the trailer now yeah in here i'm going to add class and aspect okay copy from here and paste it here so aspect with 16 by 9 save refresh here if I click now yeah and we close open and we need to change that not got it but uh, say close here And also we need to change this max width to be to accept. Save. Refresh. YouTube. And I think now we are okay. We have the same thing. Okay friends, hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.